Hello, y'all, and welcome to Shay's View. In Shay's View, I'm going to over Shay's Iron Shop, being the 8th of the 5th, 24, literally out in the shop. As you can see, all the Star Wars cosmets are still here. They will probably, probably leave around when the event ends, so about, how long is it? I should say, like, here. Us. I, it might, they might leave in a week, I don't know. They probably will leave in a week. But yeah. Then we have all the jam chats, the exact same, we get new ones on Friday, or Thursday, if you're in, like, America or other countries. Then we have Billy Eyelash, Futurama, Family Die, FNCS, all still here. Then we have the FNCS Chapter 5 Sin 1 bundle back. This is the first time ever Fortnite has done this, as they have never brought back an entire FNCS set before. The only time they've ever brought back an FNCS skin is because at the... You know how we had those lands at the end of the year around in chapter four, in whatever season four, whatever chapter it is? Basically, those stints didn't come back during that entire year. But these stints, these season stints have never come back, so this is the first time. So we have the FNGS chapter five, season one bundle here. It comes with the championship stash in here. This demon panel is meant to be rare, but it's not anymore. And this is his style, 800 of victory trash backline. Then they had the FNGS Agis here. Pretty nice. This is reactive. I don't know how it's reactive, but it is. And then we have the champion's blade here. Pretty nice. And the champion's solo's wrap here. Then we have the make it known uh, jam. Sorry, music pack, not jam track. And then we have the jam track here too. It's pretty nice. You can get it all set to too. Oh, great. We have some lad. It's the. It's. Only a hundred V bucks cheaper, um, so more than uh this one here. I wonder why. Um, oh, I just realized why. But this one, this one has this backlink. So yeah, there's an FNCS of this last season and this season. I know I just did it back to front, but you get what I mean. Then with Birds of a Feather bundle and Lavender, Lavender R, still here. Then with the Bite Brigade bundle here with the Chopper skin here from Sin Five. This is Solo Sal and she the Road Flare backlink. Then we have Backbone here from Sin 5. This is a Zosal. It comes the Road Ready Backlane. And then the Throttled Pitazzi and the Blaze Lighter here from Sin 5. Fun fact last time these items were in the shop was about a week ago. They accidentally put the Blaze Stin in the Glider's place as they have the exact same name. But this wasn't in the bundle, it was when they were sold separately. So Blaze for some reason was here last time, right here. Then we have the Draven bundle with uh, the Draven stin here from Chapter 2 and 8. He's a very nice Halloween stin and he takes off his Fallen. Very nice. And this is his own style. Eight times the Emberlings Wings battling. Then we have the Draven's Wings here and the Cursed Crescent Pit Axe here, both from Chapter 2 and 8. I swear this flyer looks so much like the Bird Wings right now in game. And get yeah, all separately too. Then we have Zany here from Season 9. Yes, yeah, in 4, sorry. Way earlier. And Switch Step here from Season 8. Then we have our uh, Swag Shuffle still here. Then we have the, uh, the Tuttle Stream Leader here from Chapter 2, Season 8. I don't know why they bring back all the Halloween stints, but this is his style. He comes the Lam uh, Bo Nation backline. I'm assuming because uh, he got a new letter of style. And then we have the. Chimmer Axe is here from Chapter 2, Scene 8. Then we have Latsfit Jones in here from Chapter 2, Scene 3. This is his Ozal, 8 times the Beef Packed Backlane. We have our uh, Perch Packed Edisal. What's the difference? Oh, but the cheese is a bit off, you can't tell. Then we have the Bewitched Blades here from Chapter 2, Scene 1. And the Desperado in here from Scene 1. And this is his Ozal. I, I do not know why the Bewitching Blades are here. They come, they go with like the dark stone heart and dark stone stins. I don't know why it's here, but it, for some reason it is. But then we have the Star Playmakers bundle, aka the OG Sotter stins. So first we have the Poison Playmaker here from Season 4. Basically, how these stins work, this works for male and female. You can pick a number up to 99. So that's pretty nice. And it goes all the way to 0, if we can just go down to 0. And basically, you can pick any country. You can do just base Fortnite, or you can do like Australia, Brazil, Belgium, Denmark, whatever you want. It's pretty nice. 
And basically, this is her little style too. And she's the police playmaker. I'll just go over their names and show off their little style. They're all from the same season, so I will not mention it. So then we have the fitness finisher here. Lego Sal. Uh, the, the circle uh, crosser here. Lego Sal. And then the dynamic dribbler. Lego Sal. Damn, all set by two. Now for the males, they have bundles known as the Champions of the Pitch bundle. And we have the midfield Mastro here, Lego style. Uh, Super Striker here, Lego style. Uh, Stalwart Sweeper here, Lego style. And finally, Aerial Threat here, Lego style. And you name them separately too. Pretty nice. Then we have uh, the Elite Cleat here from Season 4. Then we have the Vuvu Zella here from Season 4. I forget how it's reactive. It's, I'm, I was expecting it to make a weird sound, but it doesn't. And we have the gold bound glider here from Sin 4. And kick ups here from Sin 4. We also have fancy footwork here from Chapter 2, Sin 5. It's traversal. And red card here from Sin 4. And we have the letter kits here. Oh. Uh, so your engine, Fortnite. Uh, Lego, Fortnite Festival, Fortnite True, and Special Office and Bundles. So yeah, that says I'm Shop. The highlight is that we have, well, for the first time ever, they have brought back an FNCS uh, skin bundle after the season has ended. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the review, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.